Point shoot. Uh, point shoot. I went away. Hey, it's Josephine for The Point Shop. It's point shoot hack time. This is my favorite series ever. I know you guys don't like it as much as I do, but like, please like it. Please like it with me so it doesn't go away. I'm, uh... That little toe swapping exercise, you guys should do those. They're awesome for the muscles on the bottom of your feet. Freelance. What is that toe pad, yo? That's cool. Looks Freelance thin. Groovy. What do you think? Groovy. Shoot? Anime people. Why is there a hole on the top of your foot? What happened? Your point shoes don't even touch you there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this girl. How I prepare my point shoes. Did she take a, oh, this is just a sock liner. I thought she took out the whole thing. Sorry, I have to whisper. I don't really know why I take this off. It's a sock liner. Some people don't like it. It's the scariest thing when it snaps like that because it's like, did you just destroy it? I needed to get this <laughs> Okay, breaking in the box. This is pretty normal. Okay, so you're cutting the, the platform. You're cutting the fabric off the platform. I got myself and I got... <gasps> oh no! Oh, she has small feet. That's what you use to sew ribbons and elastics because it's a lot thicker than regular thread. So this is pretty typical. You break the box down, you break the shank a little bit, you take the tack out the heel, darning the end. Oh, so this one's not darned, but you just cut out the fabric on the tip. It's because it starts to fray and you just might as well get ahead of it. So sometimes when you don't cut the tip off and you start to dance on it, it starts to fray like this. And if it starts to fray, it just doesn't look as good. So you just cut that part out and then it makes the shoe a little bit tacky here on the floor too. Some people will cut it out and then they'll darn around it too. I'm so scared she's gonna cut herself again. I'm deciding which foot is gonna be the right foot. There is a slight variation even though point shoes are made on the same last so they're not supposed to have a left and a right. Let's see. Breaking in new point shoes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like this. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I don't know if I like this because with your hands or your feet, it's a little bit more exact. Like if you just put it on your door, like you don't know how much force is going on the shoe. So you could kill it faster. Is that a Phoenix? That's like a Capizio Phoenix. If it's a discontinued model, it might be the Eris. Ooh, an easy way to remove the outsole. Why would you remove the outsole? Hmm. I don't think I've seen this before. Why would you do that? Have you guys ever seen the YouTube video where they're forcing bakers to watch their bread being made into like soup bowls? I feel like point shoe makers watching this are just like, why, why would you take out the outsole? I just put it on there. Okay, so the outsole makes cut through the hole. Okay, so you're taking the stitching out. This seems very labor intensive. I'm totally okay with any point you have. You can do whatever you need to do to help you dance better. I'm cool with all of it. There's no, you're supposed to do this or not supposed to do this. Do what you gotta do so that you can dance. But I feel like if I was a point shoe maker and I'm watching these things, I'm gonna be like, ah! I've never seen this done before. So it's like a little bit traumatizing. I don't know. I'm really confused though. Like, can, can someone tell me why you would remove the outsole? Is it to make it softer? Is it to make, what, why, what, what is the point of this? Can someone explain to me why they do this? Okay, so there are some outsoles that are a little bit rounded. When you're standing flat, you kind of rock back and forth. So I imagine this helps her stay flatter and closer to the floor, but I feel like you lose a lot. So the outsole doesn't actually give you that much support. So when you see those split soles on point shoes, it's just the outsole that's split. So it doesn't really like take away from the support or anything. So I understand you're not losing a lot of the support, but like, that's so interesting. I've never seen someone do this. I usually have dancers just shave it down if they feel like it's too rocky, but I don't know. If you know, let me know. If you're this dancer, reach out to me. This seems very labor intensive, but I'm very interested. I wanna know. Come with me to ballet.
<laughs> this is so funny. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's what we look like. That's what we look like. Okay, rock rosin, our friend. There's like very few places that allow rosin now because it kind of, it makes the floor like tacky and then, and it kind of ruins it a little bit, but rosin is a lifesaver. You know what's really interesting is that in the United States, a lot of people don't like suede tips. Kind of does the same thing as rosin. So a lot of people in the United States, and this is just my feeling just from working with people in Europe and other parts of the world, they like suede tips and they kind of look like this. So it makes the shoe a little bit tackier so you don't slip as easily. It does the same thing as rosin. But then in the United States, I really think that there's a difference in the type of floor that they use. Like I'm looking at this floor right now, that looks really slippery but like we have these like beautiful marley floors in a lot of these studios now and i feel like those are a bit tackier so you don't have to use rosin as much i don't know that's just my theory if you guys are in europe or any other part of the world let me know if you like suede tips or if you like satin tips poetry ASMR. hi i'm bella i'm a core ballet dancer in the national ballet of canada i'm gonna be prepping my shoes for class asmr edition why do i feel like i have to whisper okay that was a freed studio nice darning thread oh okay so she doesn't use any additional materials inside the darning thread she just uses the darning uh, those look like stretch ribbons okay sewing on ribbons and elastic like normal so i think this they're stretchy oh yes okay so flatten the i think i just snapped it in half oh my gosh hold on she actually she might have broken it okay so she de she takes off a lot, actually. I think they're ready to go. Okay, let's take a look. The best part. Okay, so this is to soften it. If you have the water on the side, it makes the glue softer. Ooh, pretty. That looks so good. Gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. They're all ready. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Always a satisfying crunch. Okay. Mind you, if you're new to our channel and if you're getting point shoes, do not do this at home because it will kill your point shoes. Professional dancers get a lot of point shoes throughout the month. You probably don't, so don't kill your point shoes. There's so much elastic in this shoe right now, I don't even know where to look. What is happening here? Okay, so she has a normal elastic cross. She's sewing on another vamp elastic across the throat of the shoe. And then she uses elastic as a ribbon. Okay, so this will probably give a little bit more support. Wow, that looks so good though. And this is the, not the normal elastic. This is the invisible elastic. It matches your tights a little bit better. So I think that was a Gainer Minden. I love this series, you guys. If you see any point you hacks on TikTok or on any other platforms and you want us to react to them, please, please, please tag this so that I can keep doing them. All right, guys, <laughs> I'll see you later.